Hi, welcome to episode 11 of Conversations with Nilu. Um, it is right now September 2021, and it was a couple of months ago uh, since my last recording. And if you guys noticed, it saved as a recovered draft. <laughs> uh, life has gotten so crazy and busy that I <laughs> didn't have time to actually put in an actual title. But I am glad to be getting back into the swing of things. I, I know consistency is key, and I really hope I can keep this up. So much has happened uh, is in the past couple of months, and i uh, grateful for all the ups and downs. Um, I would like to think that there's a purpose behind all of it, <laughs> um, trying to navigate through each day with a good intention and being as productive as I can be towards whatever mission I'm supposed to accomplish here. (laughs) So instead of rambling on, I mean, there's so many things I could definitely talk about, and there's so many ideas I I want to share from my mind. Um, It's funny, actually, I end up babbling in a state of flow about what comes to my mind uh, to my partner when we're on road trips. And I wish I had recorded all my conversations on these road trips because they were quite interesting conversations. Um, I can mention a little bit about that maybe in the next episode, but I wanted to take the time to read an excerpt um, that I wrote down. It was right when I was doing my integration. Um, And integration is a process I go through to solidify some of the learnings I capture in my journeys uh, to make sure that they stick in my mind. And uh, I use this meditation app called Inside Timer, which I think I shared with a few folks um, in my circle. So from that app, there was a very specific audio that was shown to me um, on my list and it really deeply resonated when I listened to it and I finally understood it because I feel like if I had listened to that excerpt in the past, I wouldn't have understood as much as I did now. So here we go. I'm going to read some passages uh, as much as time allows me to share it with you guys. So this... um, This episode was called, or this excerpt was called, Transcending Human Limitations. Here it is. Wisdom available at difficult and challenging times in human history. Pain and tight spots breathe light into it. Let go, release and surrender to know the truth. I am worthy of knowing the divine truth. May it be so. To hear messages from spirit, we need to move beyond humanness. Spirit does not communicate using language. Let go of your mind, let go of your linearity, your logic, and open your expansive heart. Open your sensory consciousness to receive the wisdom that is always available to you. Begin to feel more and think less. Mind must be disengaged, body also must be present. To communicate with spirit mind needs to be quiet. To communicate with spirit, mind needs to be quiet. You must slow it down. Allow yourself to stop and just be. There is so much more happening now than I am aware of in the now. All is one. When you allow yourself to move beyond the duality, you will enter a place of unity. In In that place of oneness, you will know all that was, all there is. All that will ever be in this moment. Join an eternal now by releasing the mind. Allow it to be still. The grace of present moment. You are here in the now. Imagine a time before your birth. Before you that is called by your name. Feel life before this human existence. Don't think. Just feel it. Feel connected to all things and all time is now existence it is let go of the hold humanness has on you 
unconscious, conscious part of the design. If you allow the mind to engage, you will disconnect from the infinite now. Feel the nothingness. Beyond the nothingness lies great riches. From place of unity, begin to feel true oneness power. It may frighten you, for it is beyond anything experienced in a human form. In human form, there are limitations. The power that you are beyond your form. It may be difficult to imagine life without limitations, but that is truth. We wanted to show you how to transcend, go beyond the limitations of human life by moving beyond limits, still conscious, still aware of the full power, help with the remembering. Human life is all about remembering who you truly are beyond your limited human self. This is so you know who you really are. It will benefit you on your journey of remembering. You can begin to know yourself, your power, your truth, beyond conditioned beliefs you were thought. This can give opportunity to move beyond some human limitations. Cannot remove all limitations, but we can remove some of the human limitations to live life more blissful, peaceful, and more harmoniously. Personal history creates constraints that we're not aware of. Releasing self-imposed restrictions begin to contemplate and reflect on self-imposed limitations. Reflect on where they came from. Consciously release them. By releasing, we will have more access to our personal power. Life will be better. Release self-imposing limitations. Get in touch with limitless selves so you can stand in your power and live life to the fullest. And I think that was the end of the excerpt. Um, when I was listening to this, I noted, I wrote it down almost like I was journaling and taking notes. I really wanted this, these messages to stick. For those who are listening, I'm not sure when you stumble across this episode, <laughs> if anyone ever will, um, that this will be comprehensible for you, but I'm hoping that it will be, or it will give you some inspiration, some motivation to live your life to the fullest. Now, that was a profound excerpt that I heard, and uh, I'm grateful to have stumbled across it. Um, there's much, so many thoughts I would like to share from all of <laughs> um, my from my internal universe that I try to explore whenever I provide myself the space to do so. Um, I have been trying to stay consistent with meditation. Meditation allows me to stay connected to the space. Another way I, I remain connected is sometimes through fasting. Something about fasting, uh, I primarily practice intermittent fasting for now and it is sometimes easier said than done and it allows me to be connected as well um music music is another form or another way frequency i can stay connected to the soul (laughs) and music also always always feels very healing um I try to seek or feel for those frequencies or songs that give me that most peace, joy, motivation, energy. Just music is so profound. (laughs) I I really, really, truly wouldn't have survived some of my worst days without music. I am trying to hold on to what I can remember when I am in my magical state of mind and connected to the soul and getting guidance from the soul. But life does take over after um, the busyness and hustle and bustle of trying to pay bills, trying to plan for the future. 
trying to show up in the world to people's expectations, not disappointing them. I find that sometimes everything can feel so overwhelming. But one of the recent guidance that I seeked was a question that I that I asked, how do I stay focused through all this chaos? And the simple answer I think that I received from within myself was, well, you have to seek with your heart. Go through that list in your mind, <laughs> through, your, through the heart. The heart will guide you on what you need to do next. What is a profound choice? And if mistakes happen, you learn and grow from them and move on. And that's what I've been trying to do. But when it comes to being productive and avoiding mistakes, I think we always seek from the mind, the logic side, which can be helpful. But for true guidance, I am learning to seek from my heart. And it's one of the things I've been working on is connecting to my heart and using my heart intelligence to help me navigate through the world and um, well using my logic to execute my heart intelligence more so (laughs) it seems to be a consistent process every day and I have to recalibrate and center myself to do so Um, but I think I will get there think it's a matter of practice and reprogramming my habits to make sure that I remember the true power of the heart, the humbleness, the graciousness. And even when I express myself through this podcast and share my thoughts, trying to come from the heart... (laughs) from a state of flow so I can share my insights with you the listener whoever is listening and I allow all judgments (laughs) all misunderstandings I don't think I can avoid those but I am hoping however you may interpret the messages that I publish in this podcast are valuable and helpful for you and I'm hoping that by me expressing myself I am helping you in this expression I am coming from a place where I'm sharing my own perspectives and experiences I've been through and I'm hoping that this will be useful for you in some way to provide you with the most useful insight to allow you to live your fullest life (laughs) Or to give you some knowledge. I'm always seeking knowledge from other people. Everyone has their own wisdom to share. I listen to a lot of podcasts myself. And it's one of the reasons why I started this. Because I realize I also have something to say. So I'm glad to be continuing to do this. And I hope I can stay consistent. I would like to do that. (laughs) And thank you for listening in. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to publish more episodes moving forward. And I hope you enjoy my expression to you. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Bye.